What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17.2 RC or release candidate for both developers and for public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple also released the release candidate version for iPadOS 17.2, watchOS 10.2, macOS Sonoma 14.2, tvOS and HomePod OS 17.2 along with iOS 16.7.3 for older devices. But of course in this video we are focusing primarily on iOS and iPadOS and you can see here since we did come from a beta version to the RC which is most likely going to end up being the final the update size is very large it came in at just under 6.4 gigabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max so you should expect a pretty large update here. Now if we go ahead and check out the build number for this new update, it is 21C62. Now if we go back down to the modem firmware, you can see that is 1.22 Point oh five for the iPhone 15 series. All right, so now what's new here in the RC build of iOS 17.2? Now keep in mind, I will be covering every single new feature and change in next week's What's New video when 17.2 is released to the general public. But in this video, I'm primarily going to focus on the new additions in the RC compared to previous beta versions. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is that collaborative playlists are still not live here in 17.2. RC. Now that does not necessarily mean that they are not coming in 17.2 next week. This is something that can be pushed server side. So you can see here, I do have a collaborative playlist. And if we go up here, you can see there's nothing to add or change with this playlist. So I know that's one of the main features that a lot of people are really looking forward to. And it's kind of a shame to not see it here in the RC. However, I wouldn't necessarily say it's not coming for sure. We could see that pushed server side next week when 17.2 rolls out. But of course, no promises. It was not even in the release notes. So that's a little bit unfortunate to see. And then also in the music app in 17.2, we do have the favorite songs playlist where every song that you favorite goes into a playlist of its own. And you do have some settings in the music app to either add those to your library or not when you favorite them. So if you have this turned off, that means that the songs you favorite will not be added to your library, aka downloading them. Now, something new that we haven't covered yet is something that's mentioned in the release notes that I found pretty interesting and it's under the camera section so it says improved telephoto camera focusing speed when capturing small far away objects on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max so this is something that I've experienced and I mentioned it in my reviews but if you go to a portrait shot or if you just use the telephoto camera in general sometimes it would really struggle to focus on smaller objects so that appears to be fixed here with iOS 17.2 so that is great news for 15 Pro and Pro Max users. And then of course, we do also have the ability to shoot spatial video in 17.2, where you can relive those memories on the Apple Vision Pro. So when you go into the camera, you'll see we have the Apple Vision Pro icon down there in the bottom left. The release notes also confirm that the catch up arrow is new in 17.2. So this allows you to easily jump to your first unread message in a conversation by tapping the arrow visible in the top right corner. That's how they mention it there. And that was supposedly in iOS 17, but I only saw it like two times total on the beta builds and on the final release. So I guess now it's fully rolling out with 17.2 and it shows up every time. There's also some changes in the weather application. So if you head into weather and then go to the wind section, you'll notice that we now have the wind map in the wind section right here. So you can see your daily summary and all your comparisons in the wind section. Also, if you go down to the moon phase section, you'll notice that right here under the moon, you now have the dates here in this interactive view where you can go and see you know, what the moon's gonna look like on a specific day and now shows more details in this section. We also have something pretty interesting that's been added with AirDrop. So in the release notes, it says that AirDrop includes expanded contact sharing options and the ability to share boarding passes, movie tickets, and other eligible passes by bringing two iPhones together. This update also also adds enhanced autofill. So this is something else that should have been in iOS 17.0. So Apple announced this then, but it looks like it's now fully rolling out with 17.2. And this allows you to identify fields and PDFs and other forms, enabling you to populate them with information such as names and addresses from your contacts. So this worked, it was kind of hit or miss in iOS 17.0, but now with 17.2, that should work on every PDF form or any other form where you can have autofill. 
and I'll show more details about how that actually works in my what's new video next week. This update also adds support for Qi 2 wireless charging on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14 series. So of course the iPhone 15 was the very first model to get Qi 2 support, but now it's expanding to both the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14 models, which is nice. Now there's no Qi 2 chargers on the market just yet, but those should be rolling out later this month. And then iOS 17.2 also fixes the wireless charging bug that impacted GM vehicles. So this is something that we thought was gonna be added with iOS 17.1.2 last week, but it was surprisingly not, but that has been fixed here with 17.2. Now this update also allows Siri to access and log health data. So if you wanted to log like, you know, what you've eaten that day, if you want to log like what your weight is that day, you can now tell Siri to do that. Or you can also ask questions like how many steps have I taken today? Or, you know, what's my blood oxygen level? You can ask things like that and you will now get responses because Siri has full access to the health app. I did also want to point out that if you go into the sounds and haptics and into default alerts, this section that now says alert tones right here whereas before that was just empty and it just showed all of your tones but as far as the release notes go the rc release notes are identical to the beta 4 release notes so beta 4 did patch up a lot of bugs and it looks like that's where the majority of the fixes came in because rc has no differences from beta 4. and then as far as the performance goes i am going to run a quick geekbench test to see how this compares to the previous betas so we scored a 2938 on the single core and a 7295 on the multi core. If we compare that to the previous beta, beta 4, you can see that it is slightly lower than the score that we got on beta 4 on both single core and multi-core but again take these scores with a grain of salt this is also the first run that i did while the device is still re-indexing in the background so i will run this again later on in the week to see if we score any higher than previous betas but in general beta 4 was running just fine for me i really had no bugs or no issues so i would expect the rc build to be the same i do think this is more stable and a better overall release in terms of performance compared to 17.1 through 17.1.2 so just keep that in mind now as far as battery life goes you guys will have to tell me what battery percentage i started this video with but right now i'm at 69 percent so i would expect the battery life to be slightly better here on the rc build compared to the 17.2 betas but as far as if it's better than 17.1 through 17.1.2 i'm gonna have to use the rc for the rest of this week before i can tell you for sure if it is better or worse i will share my my findings in my apple weekly video on saturday along with the what's new video coming next week. Apple did also push out a new AirPods Pro 2 firmware update. So for both the Lightning and the USB-C AirPods Pro, they got a new update. It's now version 6B. Three, four. And of course, as usual, Apple did not update the release notes to tell us anything new aside from bug fixes and other improvements. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next week, I would expect to see the final public release of iOS 17.2. It's going to come most likely on Monday, the 11th. Apple does usually release the final public releases on Mondays. However, it really could come at any point next week. So expect that. And then I would also expect the iOS US 17.3 betas to kick off most likely the day after the public release of 17.2 sometimes it happens the same day but usually it is the next day after so we should see that first beta next week and we probably won't see beta 2 until 2024 so just keep that in mind going ahead into next week so that is ios 17.2 rc again i really hope that the collaborative playlists feature gets pushed out server side next week otherwise we'll likely have to wait until ios 17.3 or even even later and that's one big feature that I know a lot of people have been really looking forward to but nonetheless stay tuned for my big in-depth video next week if you guys enjoyed this RC video though I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that 17.2 video along with the 17.3 beta 1 video but anyways guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon